video, the easiest and most up-to-date guide you will find to vitamin supplementation for kidney patients. Catherine here, I've been helping kidney disease patients take control of their health for more than a decade now. During these years, I've met patients who were able to reverse kidney disease even in the advanced stages. And all of them had to find a way to get a balanced vitamin intake. Because if you have kidney issues, supplementing vitamins the right way is key to protect the kidneys. Up to 84% and I repeat, 84% of CGD patients have one or more vitamin insufficiencies. And this is bad. Even a small deficiency makes kidney disease progress faster. To make things worse, if you have CKD, you cannot even buy a regular multivitamin from the supermarket shelves. I mean, like if things weren't bad already. Because you see, while taking a daily multivitamin seems to be a well-established practice for the general population, I mean, everyone seems to have a favorite brand these days, the general population don't actually need a multivitamin. However, you know who needs a multivitamin? People with kidney disease, and they need it badly. But you can't just go to the supermarket and buy a Centrum or something like that because you see, there are vitamins in there you wouldn't absorb and other vitamins that would accumulate and this can cause further kidney damage. Never take multivitamins with vitamin A in them, alright? This is important. What to do then? Well, we are going to solve this issue. Today, we are going to see exactly how to put together your own multivitamin, the easy way. Let's start with identifying the vitamins you need and the vitamins you want to avoid. So, what are the vitamins you must avoid? In this category, we have vitamin A, all forms and all doses. Always avoid it, unless your doctor tells you otherwise, obviously. Also, vitamin E and K in high doses are not usually safe for people with kidney disease. What are the vitamins you need to supplement then? Vitamins of the B group, vitamin C and vitamin D. According to the current guideline for CKD, patients in all the stages are supposed to supplement these three vitamins. But how can you do that? Well, let's start with vitamin C. Vitamin C is widely known for its function as an antioxidant. It actively protects the kidneys from oxidative stress. And not many people know this, but vitamin C is also helpful in managing blood pressure. Recent studies also tell us this vitamin has detoxing benefits. And well, vitamin C also improves immune health. And this is why you really want to take it every day, especially during this season. How to do it? Now, as I was saying, getting this vitamin from a multivitamin is not safe. And unfortunately, most single vitamin supplements are also not safe when it comes to vitamin C. But don't worry, there is a solution. You see, current guideline tells us that you want to take no more than 100 mg a day of ascorbic acid when it comes to vitamin C. But most brands sell vitamin C in doses of 500 mg or more. How can we solve this issue? Well, there are two things you can do here. First, you can find a brand that sells vitamin C in the right dose, but they usually make it in gummy form as we can see. Now, the other way is to just buy ascorbic acid powder. Yeah, this is a simple trick I use to always get the vitamin C I need without buying expensive supplements. Just buy ascorbic acid powder. They sell it as an ingredient for baking and it's super cheap. You now just need to be 100% sure that you are getting the right dose. Use a measuring spoon for that and write down how much you need so you don't get it wrong. Up next, vitamins of the B group. Now, vitamins of the B group are maybe even more important than vitamin C for CKD patients. Why, you may ask? Well, the reason is, first of all, vitamin B9 or folic acid. This vitamin slows down CKD, 
kidney disease patients who took 0.8 mg per day of this vitamin had a significantly slower progression of kidney disease. As we can see here, we are talking about a 44% slower decline in kidney function just thanks to one vitamin. But keep in mind that 0.8 mg per day is twice the RDA for this vitamin, alright? Another vitamin that's crucial for your health is vitamin B12. This is a vitamin that's used by the body to make red blood cells. If your levels are too low, you risk anemia. But no food in the renal diet has this vitamin. You have to supplement it. And there is more. Vitamin B6 is frequently too low in people with kidney problems and it's crucial for the nervous system, immune system and red blood cells production. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin boosts the immune system and fights headaches. Vitamin B3 or niacin helps with cholesterol. Vitamin B5 fights stress, B7 lowers blood sugar and diabetes. And I've kept one of the best for last, vitamin B1. This one is crucial for energy production and it's also needed by the nervous system to work properly. And according to a study, taking high dose of thiamine can protect the kidneys of people with diabetes from damage. Diabetic patients in the early stages of kidney disease treated with high dose or 300 mg of thiamine for just 3 months saw a return to normal urinary albumin excretion. This means that their kidney disease actually regressed and their creatinine was immediately lower. Now guys, how to find all these vitamins in the right dose and form? Well, luckily for us, many commercial brands sell beef complex in doses that are perfectly suitable for people with kidney problems. Which is great! It means you can just buy a regular B vitamin supplement from Amazon for example and take it every morning. But how can you tell if a brand is right for you? Well, just look at the doses for the vitamins it contains. The closer they are to 100% of the RDA, the better. And when it comes to B vitamins, you can get up to that 200% or more of the RDA for B vitamins without problems. Here are some brands that have what you need. You may see that the doses here are very close to the RDA or a bit more. It's important to notice that vitamins of the B group are not dangerous when supplemented in daily doses around the 100 to 200% of the recommended dietary allowance for the general population. Do not supplement B vitamins in very high doses though, especially vitamin B6. If you see a supplement that has more than 600% of the RDA for this vitamin, don't take it. Okay, now you may ask, is there a way to get the right vitamins in the right dose without doing all this research? There are actually some multivitamins made for people with CKD, not those in stage 3 or 4 in particular, but those in dialysis. And while these supplements aren't usually made to people with kidney problems in general, they can also be used in stage 3 or 4 of CKD without problems. The doses are correct and safe for most patients. Now the downside here is that these renal multivitamins are more expensive and harder to find outside of the US than what I just shown you. Keep in mind that you are supposed to take them every day, right? So there are brands selling multivitamins specifically made for people with kidney problems include Nevrovite, ProRenal Plus D, Renovite and Dailyvite in no particular order. They are readily available on Amazon and other online shops. And most of these multivitamins do not have the most important vitamin in them, however. So there is one more vitamin we need to talk about. This is even more important than vitamin C and the vitamins of the B group. I consider it the kidney vitamin. Yes, I'm talking about vitamin D. But why is vitamin D so important? Well, because it lowers proteinuria, a marker of kidney health just as important as creatinine. This vitamin here significantly reduces the severity of proteinuria among patients with CKD in studies. Not to mention that up to 84% of CKD patients have an insufficiency when it comes to vitamin D. Yes, what many people don't know about this vitamin is that it's actually a hormone and that it's produced by the kidney. 
is why low levels of this vitamin are especially common and dangerous for people with kidney disease. Vitamin D is routinely prescribed to kidney disease patients to help preserve their kidney function. But you see, while taking an over-the-counter supplement for this vitamin may help, most patients will need a special form of vitamin D. Don't worry, I've shared with you all you need to know about the kidney vitamin in my recent video. It's up here and also down in the description if you missed it. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.